Hello everyone, this is the second update of the Bebop 2 um, camera improvement mod thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, so basically what I did was I took apart the original Bebop camera and used the bead that holds, or sort of the retainer for the front element. I removed that, took the front element off, and uh, glued it to the front of that bead. So what I do is I slide the bead back on and that will allow me to focus or move the position of the front element on the actual barrel and that with that I can create focus. Um, so I, I was successful with that but I'm not too happy with... I really want to see if I can improve this by changing out the entire barrel and just use the same bebop sensor with another lens arrangement. So as you can see in this example um, how the manual focusing um, works with this little thing I did. The uh, All I have to do is just uh, rotate the uh, the front element and position in or out but what I did was I offset the element, so as I rotate it, the uh, uh, like a portion of the element would go closer and then move further away as you turn it. So that would uh, either focus or defocus. So that's that. I'm I'm happy with that. I can achieve that. <clears throat> but what I want to tell you for those who are researching this the camera itself is sealed but it is not airtight and uh, I had to find out the hard way by removing everything and inspecting it it's only held on by adhesive and these gaps at the bottom of the um, casing for the sensor uh, where the ribbon comes out and I think those are breathers so they are a little um, gaps in between them I'm not too sure if that's a defect with the camera that I have but it wasn't completely sealed. The adhesive had uh, two slots um, which weren't sealed. So I'm guessing air could get in there. Um, <clears throat> so the next thing I want to try is uh, use a complete uh, lens um, housing with the lens construction that has a field of view of 170 degrees. So I'll try and see if I can narrow it down. Um, here I just wanted to show you a comparison between the sensors. Um, the Bebop uses a vertical sensor arrangement. On the left is a GoPro sensor and that's the Bebop sensor which is larger. It's about 2.5k sensor I think. And on the right hand side is a point and shoot sensor which has a higher megapixel than the Bebop. But the Bebop seems to be um, a lot longer than it. So. I do believe that the Bebop sensor is capable of high resolution um, images if they turned off the digital stabilization. Alright, so that's it for now. I will keep you all posted with my updates. If I manage to have a breakthrough or not, if I fail, I will document it. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.